I'm a big fan of the list idea for organizing our prompts. So as we get into this kind of second phase of like starting to save off your prompts, starting to organize them in some way, getting back to them is important. And like was mentioned here in the comments, you know, OneNote is great for that because of the search. Um, we also have the search capability in lists. And I, what I like about lists, I'm just kind of a database minded type of guy. So I like the idea of like, each one of these is an object and that object has attributes, right? So I'm kind of building like an index, if you will, of prompts. And this is what we put together based off of the feedback from our users in our own early access program. So um, when we were very early on, we had maybe 50 people. They talked about like, it'd be nice to have like a share a prompt channel or something like that. So I had put together this prompt library and I've like, moved this over to my MVP tenant now so I can demo it. But essentially I was thinking in terms of like, how can I get like almost like a form to fill out or something like that so that I could take advantage of the search capabilities in lists, but also the filtering and organizing type of capabilities. So what I did for a very basic list here is I've got, what is the prompt? What's the description of the prompt? Like, why is it good? What's it good for? Those types of things. And then I've just got some tags for it. And what that is helpful for is doing some organization, right? I don't necessarily want to have like a whole bunch of like different columns for filters. I kind of like the idea of keeping things flat and just doing like tags and that's it. So I've got like things tagged for like, what is the application? I've also got thing like a tag for like meetings, right? And what's nice is if you tag it, you can filter by it. So I can be like, all right, I'm in a meeting. I want to just see the meeting ideas. So there's all of the prompts from my prompt library that I could kind of pull out of my toolbox to use during a meeting, right? So those are some ideas as far as tagging. And what I like also about the list concept is you can have something called a rating column. So it's a little bit down here. It's the average rating. And that gives you like a one to five star or a zero to five star rating. But you can change that instead of a rating, you can change it to a like column. And that gives you basically the concept of an upvote by clicking on the heart. You're basically saying, I like this, you know, and that adds a little bit of community to the prompt library for your organization because you can then sort by you know um, the number of likes and have your most popular ones uh, up there at the top like that. So I like kind of infusing a little bit of community to it. I can store the list in a, um, a SharePoint site and that SharePoint site could be the SharePoint site that is attached to your either Microsoft team or Viva Engage community, that is your co-pilot community. We talked at Teams Nation um, a couple of weeks ago about building your M365 co-pilot community and how important that is. An aspect of that community is a engaging and collaborative prompt library so that you can you know, build a knowledge base. And I'm a big advocate personally just of doing that in Microsoft lists. Now the, you're leaning a little bit more into like the pure collaboration world with loop and building a loop workspace. So I'm, I'm interested to see what you've kind of mocked up with loop components, because what I've done is like, here's a list. There's a little bit of like, I'm thinking of governance, right? I could make it so that I could have custom views. I could not allow people to submit it to a list. I could do like an approval workflow with Power Automate and kind of, you know, like not just like open it up to everybody. 